NWA wrestling fans, it's the Champion Series. Eight teams will vie for championship opportunities in the future. Every person on the winning team will get a shot at gold. And whoever has the most points at the end, well, they're the ones that get the opportunity. And the points, well, you win, you get points. Submission, six points. Pinfall, five points. If you get a count out victory, that's two points. A draw, well, each person gets two points as well. And also, you can't just cheat the win. If you get a basic disqualification, the referee will award one point. But if you do so much that the match can't continue, well, your opponent gets three points. Ladies and gentlemen, the Champion Series is happening now. What a way to start off an episode of NWA Power and start the Champion Series. The bell has rung. It's Bully Ray versus Odin's in a battle of the behemoths. Isn't that right, Velvet? Behemoth is right, Joe. Look at the size of these two men in the ring. It's like, <laughs> what are we going to see? I like this. I like starting off a tournament like this with some top tier competitors. Facing each other, sizing each other up, rather. Bully Ray representing Team Great, Odinson representing Team Fixers. A long, multi week tournament. Winner of the Champion Series will get title shots. All the members of the team, color elbow tie up. Who's gonna get the advantage? Who has more power? The two-time Hall of Famer, Bully Ray, or the Asgardian Odinson? It's a pretty strong lockup, so we get to see who will make the first move. There's a feeling out process, and yes. I think we're gonna see a lot of that throughout the entire Champion Series. We're gonna see competitors that maybe we would never have seen sure. wrestle, but because of the format of the Champion Series and the algorithms we're using and the decisions made by the team captains and their co-captains, we're gonna see some incredible matchups just like this one. Could be a main event anywhere in the world, but we're opening NWA Power with it right now. Absolutely. No moves made yet by the big men. Odinson is the, the favorite here tonight. And you may notice, folks, watching at home, our NWA arena is full of the roster all in here at ringside. We've put the teams that are going to be competing on the first few episodes right up front to cheer on, to coach, to give advice. But more importantly, really to enjoy some great matches. Absolutely. Sending Bully Ray down to the mat. You know, there's always a lot of strategy when it comes to any professional wrestling match, but when you have anything like this right here, where you have a matchup where you're trying to win points, you get six points for a submission, five points for a pin. Yep. Another strong lockup. Don't want to get a disqualification. That'll send points to the other team. Guardian uppercut and hopefully Ray standing his ground. Okay, okay. Tit for tat. I know who I am. Bully Ray, multiple time champion, so many times over it's hard to count, Velvet. Odinson really on his way up, especially here in the National Wrestling Alliance. Come here. Come here. Member of Team Great, but you have to imagine that if he was able to go all the way with this team, he might even challenge Sion for that National Heavyweight Championship. Did he or I should say Bully Ray as a member of Team Great has that opportunity. First move of the match, side headlock by Bully Ray. So Odinson was trying to break loose. And there you see the tap captain of Team Great Watching Bully Ray, kind of stoic. I think he just, I think he knows that this pick is, is oh, yeah. so great for him, so much experience yep. coming with Bully Ray. There's really not a whole lot of coaching you gotta do. He's very focused. Big shoulder tackle. Odinson, I think there's some trepidation in his face. I think it's, he doesn't like the fact that he got overpowered. Not too often we see Odinson overpowered. No, right, normally and you see some disappointment in the face of the captain. Yeah. And Jay Bradley, the captain of the Fixers, I think that he was planning to have Odinson be the real powerhouse in this matchup, but it's really not going that way. Well, normally we see Odinson being the powerhouse of any match that he's in. Ooh. There he goes. There he is. The 
Nice crowd here coming alive for the Asgardian warrior Odinson. I'm a big fan of Odinson myself. Well, he's got every single tool in the, in the tool chest to become a champion. The champion series oh, fucking strength. way to go. Up onto the shoulder. Oh my gosh, talk about strength. Well, the race spinning around, punch to the face. Cheap shot. And you got to be starting, really starting to think about the strategy when you start to go this deep into the match, too. How far do you want to go? Do you want to go for that quick pin? Are you really going to try to wear down Odinson? Wear down, yes. Would Odinson be the kind of person who would tap out? How I, much work would you have to do to get to that point, or would you try to cut a corner and earn less points? Well, with Bully Ray, I mean, you never know what tricks he has up his sleeve. You know, they call he's a bully for a reason. But with a guy like Odinson, I feel like the strategy for me would be trying to break him down. Because we've seen him mat wrestle, we've seen him, you know, his the power and the strength, and we've seen him as a high flyer. So he can pretty much do it all. He's very versatile as a wrestler. So for me, it would be breaking him down. Holy ah, Ray, ah, he's got that nerve nerve pinch. He gets on a lot of people's nerves, Joe. <laughs> that's, that's true. No stranger to that as well. As we look on with the crowd here, with the different teams watching on, cheering on their competitors. Odinson representing Team Fixers. Ah, ah. Ray. I think that this is actually a really sound strategy if you're going forward and you're going up against Odinson. You want to slow things down. Yeah. Once Odinson gets going, if he starts to build that momentum, he becomes explosive and almost oh, yes. unstoppable. Yep. And you can see Odinson has that red, white, and blue armband indicating that he is part of the Fixers. Holy Odinson red. not giving up without a fight, though. Fighting back, trying to fight his way out, and he was able to do it. European uppercut. Another one. Yeah, from the left side. Three times a charm. And there's got to be a lot of added pressure when you're starting the Champion Series. You want to get those first points, and you want them to be big points! And you can get it right there! That is Guardian uppercut diving through the air. Tries to go for the cover, no, but Bully. Bully's got the ropes. That's a veteran right there, just having ring awareness, know exactly where you are. Wasn't allowing Odinson to get an opportunity for a pin, a pin attempt. I mean, I've completely lost count of how many of those uppercuts oh, I know. that Bully Ray has eaten during this match. Oh. Levels him with the lariat. Lights out on that one. Cuts that outside leg. Shoulders down, kick out by Odinson. And there you see Jay Bradley and his team, Team Fixers. Odinson seems to have beat the crowd favorite this entire match. Yeah, what a fun. Odinson pulls out of his own into the cover. Look at this cover. Kick so out. close. Gotta stay on him, Odinson. I have to say, this is a really divided crowd yeah. here, a divided roster between these two. But also, that's not, also not surprising. And there you see Scion, captain of Team Great, almost seems completely non-plus. Odinson sent Bully for the corner. Oh! Big spear plants the Asgardian. Not looking good for Odinson Puts right the here. Shoulder step, kick out. Woo! Odinson is such a tough competitor, has proved he can have any type of match with opponents of any size and pretty much hang with anybody. Yeah, and I, the, the biggest handicap you think Odinson would have is just the level of experience going up against sure. Bully Ray, who's been there and done that a thousand times over, and here he goes! Oh, nice. Wow! Wow, into the cover! Shoulders down! Oh, so close, Joe! Like a millisecond off! Wow. Odinson came so close to starting things off for his team, the Team Fixers. Oh, but there it is, the purpose. He's got that spray. He's got that purpose spray sprayed into his mouth. Well, we all know what happens once the purpose goes into effect, baby. He sees things shiny and cool. Can he capitalize? Uh-oh. Locking him up. Looking for the bubble bomb. Odinson's always got that purpose. Boom. Comes off the ropes. Oh, the nice. Right. It's over. Good Odinson's going to make the cover. Right. Oh, Look the belt. This oh, match no. has reached the 10 minute TV time limit. Oh no. It is a draw. Two points to Team Great and two points to Team Fixer. 
Well, that is not the way anybody wanted to start off the Champion Series. Show. we got a lot of people that are upset, especially the teams of Team Great and Team Fixers. They were hoping for a big win, but we got two points on either side. I feel like if Odinson was able to get to Bully to pin him with the help of the purpose, he would have won the match. I, I think that well, that would, that's all we really needed. It was maybe 60 more seconds, but who knows? Maybe Bully Ray would have been able to kick out. The purpose, though. It's the, I, mm -mm. I don't think so. Still, what a way to start off the Champion Series here. Two incredible warriors, and what Absolutely. a way to start things off. It's Joe Galley <laughs> and Velvet Sky. It's time. It's time. It's Velvet time, baby. I gotta Let's give do you, this. I've got to give you the proper <laughs> intro. You can see that Tim Storm Thank is you. not with us. He's not going to be with us for a couple weeks. He is busy handling all kinds of things with this Champion Series. He is still a co-managing director for NWA USA. And we missed you, Tim. <laughs> Absolutely. But you know what? We've got some huge matches for you on this very episode of NWA Power. EC3 and Tom Latimer, they're going at it once Woo. again. Big rematch from Hard Times 3. The team of Judas and PJ Hawks are taking on Damage and Rush Freeman, and then Thrillbilly Silas Mason is going toe to toe with Kratos. This is NWA Power, where you see wrestling as it's meant to be, and the Champion Series kicks off. Let's do this. Please welcome NWA World Heavyweight Champion Tyrus, joined by the Church's Money Black G's. Now, guys, you're having your most dominant run in your time in the NWA. And now Tyrus is also captain in the Champion Series, and you'll be facing Team Brickhouse. Mimi, I don't like to correct you, but it's a historic dominant run. We ran the table, and we are doing big things. And listen, I am the most seen NWA World Heavyweight Champion of all time. And I carry this 12 pounds of gold because it's a little bit bigger when I hold it proudly and I'll defend it anytime, any place. But it's not about me, it's about the team sport. And uh, fortunately, we didn't get to pick the teams. NWA played it out and we're gonna lay them out. Right, Jeezy? Exactly, and May May. The domination is just beginning. We got all the gold, but let me let you in on a little bit of secret. I would go as far as to say that the church's money is the most dominant and the most consistent player coach in our sport today. And if I want to, when I want to, I will make that NWA World Junior Heavyweight Championship mine. You know what I'm talking about? Jeezy, okay. I hate to correct you, but that's not a secret. Everybody knowing we're coming for all the gold. You and I could tag up tomorrow and go after tag team gold. But again, let's stay focused on team. We got to win. We got to dominate. And we're going to do it because when you're at the top of the mountain, you know they coming. You know what we say, let them come. Enough said. Okay. Well, thank you so much, guys. The bell is rung. Big time rematch. A bitter blood feud between Tom Latimer and EC3. Starting things off for Team Tyrus and Team Brickhouse. Question is, week after week we see EC3 continuing to try to live rent free in Tom Latimer's head. How much longer is Latimer going to allow this to happen before he snaps? We might see that as EC3 backs Tom Latimer into the corner, shoulders into the gut, into the midsection. Oh my God, EC3 is insane. About 100%. Man. He, he, talk, he seems to talk to riddles, but also seems to have a plan, not only focused on controlling his own narrative, but really trying to control the mind of Tom Latimer. Once you can get into someone's mind, you pretty much have control. You agree? Oh, if, you, if you can take control of someone's mind, you've pretty much taken control of them as a whole. Yeah, how are you going to be able to fight out of it? But right. Tom Latimer, Here we go, he, Tom. he came in with a plan. I think it's so interesting that Tom Latimer being on the team of the Brick House, yeah. but not being the co-captain. And I think that that could have been an idea or something that's really advantageous for Camille. You want to have your, your top warrior in the fight. Oh, sure. Yep. There you see 
Team Brickhouse, co-captain, Pollo Del Mar. Chop to the chest, lighting up Tom Latimer. You have to be worried if you're holding gold in the NWA and you realize that either one of these guys could continue on to get a title shot to try to take oh, that yeah. title from you. Yep. Reversal by Latimer. Sends him into the buckle hard, ooh. But eats the back elbow from EC3. Latimer, oh, he's looking for, he's looking for that cross face. Got to control that left he's arm. He's trying to bring that him shoulder. down for that cross face submission. EC3 not going down without a fight though. Is able to reverse out of it. Oh, that's Prez by EC3. Ground and pound on Latimer. And now going after oh the eyes, the nose, the face. He's gotta be careful. He does, vicious. Wait a minute, there he is. He's got the disqualification. Kyle Davis is going to check right now, but that was EC, pretty blatant. Look at him. He's in, he's crazy. E3's, EC3 has a grade one disqualification. That is one point to Tom Latimer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as part of the champion series, you get that disqualification. If it is grade one, you get one point allotted to the person who was the victim of that disqualification. This point being Tom Latimer, and the match has reset. Nice. We have a five minute time limit. If I was Tom Latimer at this point, I mean, I would, <laughs> I would not hesitate every second I was in the ring with EC3 to continue to just unleash. Team Tyrus has to be really mad at this point. They cost a point to the other team. Get him, Tom. And I mean, that point is staying with Team Brickhouse no matter what happens in this match. So theoretically, if Tom Latimer gets a submission victory, they'll start with seven points out the gate with Woo. the first match. Now we do have different levels when it comes to disqualifications. Oh, and again, come on at the eyes. Come on, referee doesn't see it. Oh, and Latimer think, oh, has no he's idea where he is. He's been blinded a big clothesline. Latimer did not see it coming. There you see the NWA World Heavyweight Champion in Black G's looking on Team Tyrus. Now if you get to the point where you get a disqualification, where the person that you're wrestling or the team that you're wrestling can no longer continue, that team will be awarded three points. So you're definitely in a danger zone at this point when you've already sacrificed one from EC3, but maybe it was worth it, because Tom Latimer, he really, he's having an incredibly yeah, hard time is. seeing at this point. And of course, if you're Tom Latimer, you want to get that big victory. You want to get some satisfaction, some vindication. Oh, especially what after what EC3 what has been putting him through. Yeah, the man, mental man, torment. Man, like what we saw during hard times, but also during our several weeks that we were in the greater New Orleans area. EC3 is basically on, on a superb warpath against oh, Tom Look Latimer. at him mocking Latimer now because he can't see. That's just disgusting to me. Oh. I think he might pay for it, but again, Tom Latimer, he is. He raked his eyes pretty hard. I mean, Kevin Keenan's going to be very careful here. See, Tom Lever can continue, but it could end here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Face first into the knee. BC3 could get a pin here. It'll be 5-1 in this matchup. But he's hesitant, though. Why doesn't he go for a pin right here? Because he's, he toys with Latimer. He could have very well went for the pin right here. Latimer's very vulnerable. He's broken down. He's blinded. He... But EC3, he wants to just toy with him, continue to toy with him, continue to mock him. Yeah, sometimes these champion series matches, they're really more about sending a message for yourself yes. than those really competing for your or team. Or winning for your team, exactly. And it really could show who's really a team player. Oh, there you go. Tom Latimer was able to find and only he does. And he can't he's even got the cross see. face. He's got the cross face, but I'm as he's, he's he's got his eyes basically closed. Oh, EC3 is almost to the ropes though. Got his foot on the bottom rope. EC3 rolled to the outside, but we can only have two disqualifications in a row. This match is over. This is done. Kyle Davis is trying to get the official award from Kevin Keenan. 
Tom Latimer has been disqualified. This is a grade two disqualification. The match has ended. The team totals are three points for Team Tyrus and one point for Team Brickhouse. Uh, well, the champion series is starting off with so much chaos and so much hatred. I'm very disappointed right but now. But again, another big victory, another mental victory over Tom Latimer for sure. But also more points to Team Tyrus. We're gonna take a quick break. When we come back, a fatal four-way matchup to determine where our alternates and what teams they will be representing. We'll be right back. Danny Deals, what's the gig? We've got all kinds of stuff here. Unfortunately, Candy's not here, but that's okay because we've rented. We're gonna have to call you Bubblegum. Look at this new hat, right? We've already had this hat, I blew it out, I had to make more, right? How about this? That's pretty sweet. You like that one? I love it. Eu acho esse chapéu são maravilhosos. Olha, eu olho bem chique, me. Look at that. Pretty sweet. And then I'll come back around this way. This is nice too. Does it got a zipper? Unzip that. Oh, that's a cool shirt. Look at that shirt right there. Yeah, that's almost sold out because that's the Deal Man shirt. That's right, it's the Old Begotten shirt. Look at this. Ah, huh? new hoodie. It's getting cold outside. I'm going to cover my ears up. Huh? Who else is going to do that for you? Hey, tell them what. Tell them where they can get it at. Bubblegum. Você pode achar todo essas coisas no NWA merchandise. Inside the NWA Arena, four-way elimination matchup here. Big implications for these four men. These four men will be alternates that will be added to four teams. The winningest person is going to get the first crack at it. Going to be the first to decide what team they want to go on. As the bell is rung, Anthony Andrews, Jeremiah Plunkett, Sal the Pal, and Rolando Freeman. Guys, hold on. Step back, buddy. Step back. Step back. Oh. Let the camera see the star, okay? Okay? Right. okay. Is he going to do oh, the dance? Got, yeah, yeah. I love it. The spectacular dance. <laughs> Big fan of that. <laughs> oh, is Sal going to join him? Or wait, what's Sal doing? I have no idea what Sal's doing. I don't think Sal knows what Sal's doing. Oh, and a shoulder tackle. Look, I think those. He wasn't done dancing. I, 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 keep your hands to yourself, bro. <gasps> Rolando Freeman making strides here in the NWA, not backing down from yeah. any man. Shining. Despite his level, his size or level of sanity. <laughs> now keep in mind, this is an elimination four-way matchup. First person pinned or submitted or eliminated, I should say, is going to have the last pick. Or they we won't even have a pick. They're just going to be assigned a team to go to. Yeah. Big boop by Anthony Andrews. My goodness. One half of the country, gentlemen. Up goes Rolando Freeman. Oh, gets caught. Gets caught. No, no, no. Here comes the pal, though. Headbutt. Which puts oh, Rolando Freeman down. Oh. Only up one Only count. One. Again, a cover. Sal the pal now going into the cover. On a one count. Got a lot of strength, a lot of tenacity from the thoroughbred Anthony Andrews. Andrews has Sal the Pal up on the shoulders. I'm just gonna get that. Oh, Andrews cleaning house right now. Boom. Slamming down Plunkett. Andrews the only man on his feet until Rolando gets up. Rolando looking to sort of change the momentum <laughs> Always, in his yes. career in the sport of professional wrestling after that devastating loss to Matt Cardona. You can't keep Rolando down for too long. That's one thing I've noticed about him. Shots in the chest, not phasing Andrews. Oh my Just goodness. Oh, into the sunset pin. No. Oh, look. All of them are going to get her. Oh, we got her. We got her. Andrews has been eliminated. Oh, Anthony Andrews is With in the, the worst spot. With the assist from Jeremiah Plunkett and Sal the Pal. Anthony Andrews is going to be assigned a team after these three men will be able to pick. But who's going to be able to do it in what order? That's what we still need to find out. Oh, oh my gosh. I wouldn't expect anything less from Sal. Plunkett with that huge Ooh. hand. Down goes Sal hard, my gosh. And you gotta be wondering the strategy for the different captains that are here. The different captains that are watching, they have to be wondering, who do you want on your team? And they're not gonna get a choice. 
They really haven't been given a whole lot of choices in this entire champion series. We've had an algorithm that's assisted in deciding which wrestlers go on to which team. Looks like Orlando Freeman is busted open. I can't tell if he's bleeding from his nose or his mouth, but it might have been when Andrews was using him as a weapon. Yeah, it might have been. It does look like he is busted open at the nose, perhaps has a broken nose. Oh, I sure hope not. All that pain and punishment seems to be fueling Rolando. Ooh, Rolando, Rolando Freeman since making his debut for the NWA. He's been very impressive, a very yeah. impressive competitor. Like I said, not backing down from any opponent, no matter what his strength or size is. Just always ready for a fight. I, I think Rolando's that. made it very clear. He wants to go for the 10, or according to Tyrus, 12 pounds of gold. Yes. He wants to go after the Ooh. World's Heavyweight Championship. Oh, he's beaten pretty heavy. And if he could get be put on the team as the alternate, he would get that title shot, that title opportunity. Yep. Oh, I think he got hit in the nose again. Yeah, I think he got hit twice, once by the back of the head of Sal the Pal and the knee. Belly to back suplex, plant Sal the Pal. Cover now by Plunkett. Shoulders are down, kick out. And you have to think, not only do you have the champion series and the different teams that you're fighting for, the points you're trying to get, but you also, you've got Sal the Pal. A member of the Miserably, fight, miserably Faithful. Jeremiah Plunkett, a member of the Ill Begotten. You're yep. still kind of representing the people that are there. Ooh. Tiger fade kick from Sal the Pal. Look at him, he's gone mad. Pal. Look at the tie up Plunkett. And once again, this is not a proper champion series matchup. No points are being awarded to any teams here. But Plunkett could tie oh, him He's in trouble, he's in the middle of the ring too. He's not close to any rope to try and Break the submission. He's got to try to get out of he's it by a, himself. He's got a long way to go. He might try to, try to use his over. weight, use his size. Turn over, push yourself up. He's got, he's got to roll over and reverse the pressure of the hole. Yep. I don't think there's any way he's making it to the ropes. He's got to reverse that pressure. And now Rolando is in an interesting position here. Oh, but look, shoulders are down. Very nice, Rolando. Very smart. Just trying to get an elimination. Taking advantage. Oh, oh, he's stuck in. And he's stuck oh it. my god. He's gosh. stuck in on Sal. He got him, Joe. Sal the Pell has been eliminated. And now we are down to two. Rolando Freeman and Jeremiah Plunkett. Winner of the next fall. Oh, that's the biggest boot. The biggest boot can Can Rolando Freeman have this one right here? Rolando could win it. He should have. He got it. Plunkett has been eliminated. The winner. Woo. No! Rolando Freeman on a roll since debuting here in the NWA. My goodness. Congratulations, Do Rolando it. Freeman. I wonder what team he'll pick to be a part of here on the Champion Series. But now let's go to a conversation that made Valentine head with the Fixters earlier today. Please welcome U.S. Tag Team Champions, the Fixers. The Fixers! The Not Fixers, yet. yes. Not yet. Okay. Soon, soon, buddy. Okay. Well, Jay, as champion, you must be really proud to be one of the eight captains for the champion series. And you're going to be facing Team Great with Sion as captain. How do you feel about that? I'll tell you how I feel about that, May. I will tell you exactly how I feel. Whoever made these teams is a genius. He might be almost as smart as Jay Bradley. Because you Not know what? Exactly. Because you know what? He gave Jay Bradley a promotion. I'm not the boss anymore. I'm the captain. You see this, May? I'm the captain. Mm -hmm. This team. This team might be the most fiercest fighting force ever assembled in pro wrestling, maybe even worldwide. Not only do I have my decorated assistant here wrecking ah! ball. Not yet. Oh. Gun safety. Point that away. Not only do I have the wrecking ball Ligurski and myself at the helm, I've got a Viking. Yeah, they're real. I've got one. And I'm hitting all demographics. I even got a couple of broads, huh? Broads. Sorry, that's chicks if they're trying to be politically correct. One of them even speaks Spanish, and one of them's a king. She's royalty. And we even got Rush Freeman. <laughs> Exactly, Ligurski, yeah. exactly. And we're going against people like Angelina Love. We're going against Bully Ray. We're going against Judas, but with my brains and my brawn. Those big old brains right stop. there. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. not yet. Okay, not yet. And a little bit of this, because it goes a long way, we're winning the Champions Challenge. Because why? Now, now, Fixers rule! 
Thank you so much, guys. Talk is on a fever pitch. Austin Idol in the headlines all over again. He's on NWA Fight TV pay per view. He's on NWA Power on the Fight TV network all around the globe. Austin Idol is still, has always been, always will be a big deal, a driving force in professional wrestling. And you want to be part of this business. You want to be standing here like the idol. You want to be standing here like next to the idol. How would you like to be on NWA Power, on Fight TV? You know it's possible. Anything is possible. Your impossible dream is possible. But there's one thing you got to do, darling. You got to get the right training from the right guy at the right place, and you're looking at him. Austin Idol's Universal Wrestling College in Greenville, South Carolina, man. You go to that website and sign up. I will take you under my wing. I will teach you. I will coach you. I will show you all the ins, the outs, the ups and downs, and how to make you successful, <laughs> just like me. The one and only, Universal Heartthrob, Austin Island. UniversalWrestlingCollege.com. UniversalWrestlingCollege.com. Go there. <laughs> The Champion Series continues. Big tag team matchup here. Jay Bradley, the head of the Fixers team, had the tag team option, so he was the one who was able to make the decision as to who was gonna be in this tag team match. It's one of the ways that we could try to find ways to create parity throughout this entire tournament. Another interesting kind of wrinkle to see exactly what kind of matchups you could see. And I don't think there's ever been a world where we thought we'd ever see Judias team with PJ Hawks. Yeah, exactly. Never. Such interesting matchups, and there you see. Let's ring the bell. It really is an interesting Damage. Pairing. Damage teaming with Rush Freeman. Recently debuted Damage from Blunt Force Trauma. So I think it's interesting that we have several competitors that are commonly in tag teams. But they're just with different with partners. With different partners, yeah. So you really yep. have to try to work on your chemistry, work on your strategy, right? And it's hard, it's hard, like I said, when you're when you're used to being in a tag team, especially for so long, and you know each other's moveset by like the back of your hand, you know, you have that chemistry, and then you're paired with somebody completely different, the odds are kind of against you as far as, you, know, you gotta get on the same team quickly. And it's easier said than done, you know what I mean? Because you don't have that natural chemistry that you normally do with your tag team partner. And this match is so important because things are all tied up between Team Great and Team Fixers, tied two to two. Which team is going to actually start to get an advantage in this tournament? Goes for the hip toss, but PJ blocks. Landed on his feet, agile oh, like he a goes cat. for the arm drag. But damage is just so powerful. Stopped in his tracks. And that Oof. knee to the stomach was just enough. And there you see Luke Hawk. On the outside, cheering on his son. It's got to be Hawks. hard for Luke Hawks. To yeah. be, you know what I mean? Normally he can come to the, the, the aid, the rescue of his son and tag team partner PJ, but it's got to be really hard for Luke, you know, as the competitor and the father, to just be not be able to be in the match with PJ and have to watch from you right. know, the crowd. And even being a part of an opposing team, being part of Team Pretty. Right. With Kenzie Page as the captain, I mean, it, it's got to be a really difficult position to be. Yeah, yeah, I would imagine. For anybody with a tag team partner or as part of a faction. Yeah. To almost have to cheer against, but I don't think that's ever going to happen with Luke and PJ. No, never. Father and son. Tag is made to Judias. We've got Judias and Rush Freeman now. Ducks those punches. Good thing, Rush. It's smart to be ducking those punches. Oh, answers with body shots to Judias, trying to break down the big man. Judaius ain't having it though. Rush Freeman's been really trying to work on his striking game, also his aversion as yep. well. He is bobbing and weaving. Oh, and a shot! Oh Cheap my god, shot. Joe! Straight to the face! To the bridge of the nose. And there you see the captain and co-captain of Team Fixers, very animated. 
They know how important this matchup is. Almost every matchup, every oh, matchup sure. matters. Because the amount of points. Oh, no! oh, oh my, my God! God! Cleaned the clock of Rush Freeman. Oh, it might I, just that's be a matter of seconds. It. It's gotta be over. Wow! He Look kicked out. A one count at that. Wow! Rush Freeman. Wow! Props for the strength. But there you see Rush Freeman dazed and rolling over into the wrong corner. He is in a bad part of town. Tag is made, in comes PJ. But there you see Judas, I don't think he wanted that. There you see PJ Hawk scolding Judas about his game plan of cutting corners, and we know that's never PJ's style. He doesn't think he needs to do it. He wants right. to earn things on his own acumen, on his own athleticism. mind, folks, there are no managers at ringside during this competition, so it doesn't matter if one team has a manager like uh, the Miserably Faithful with Sinister Minister. He's here in the NWA arena, but he's not there to be able to give any sort of advice or coaching at that time, which could be so valuable to certain yeah. teams. Also, with damage being part of blunt force trauma, Aaron Stevens can't be in the corner, causing any types of... Well, let's, it yeah, let's call it what it is. Tag is made, in comes damage. He might be, and there you go. You see the fixers. Very, very happy about what they're seeing with their team. I mean, despite the fact that there's definitely some dissension there, Rush Freeman does not like the fact that the algorithm put him onto the team with the fixers. I mean, damage is but, definitely inflicting a lot of damage. Yeah, he's living, he's up, living up to the up name. He's living up to his name, Joe. Yeah. My goodness! <laughs> the damage being done to PJ Hawks right Into now. Into the cover, looking for okay. five points! Right now, Hawks, I mean, he's very concerned for his, his son, tag team partner. I think Damage had an opportunity to score five points there, but look at Luke. He's fired. He's looking to bring pain. He's looking to bring punishment. So I think. Oh, and there you see Aaron Stevens. Oh he is in the far corner here. He can't do anything in the NWA arena. You know he's just itching to get to ringside. He can't do anything. You know that's just eating him alive. He's got his back to the camera. He's his back to the ring right now. I should say. DJ trying to get to his feet. And he does. Shut down by Rush Freeman. Rush Freeman trying to feed up some of the momentum made by Rolando Freeman winning that four-way matchup to Both determine teams the trying positions to, of the alternates. Both teams trying to crawl to make the tag as made to Judas. Rush was not able to make the damage. And that could turn the tide in this Gosh. matchup for sure. Swing and a miss from Rush. And there you see Sinister Minister cheering on his man. Because uh, at the end of the day, he wants Sinister Minister and his team to win it. So Judas can get that tag team shot. Oh no! Judas was able to bait in damage. And the damage may have been done. Not good for Rush Freeman. Not looking good. For that choke slam. Oh, hands across oh it's the gotta be over. Oh wait, damn it. Here comes damage though. Damage breaking it up. between the team yeah, here. I think, yeah, I mean, it was the miscommunication. And the drop kick again! And again, this team running into each other. And the Fixers are living! Fixers are absolutely furious about the miscommunications. Up! This time down! And planted. Shoulders are down! Hooked on the leg! Big points! The winners by pinball, Judas and PJ Hawks. Team great, earning five points. The totals are now Team Great, seven points, and Team Fixers, two points. Big win for the Fixers, more momentum on their side, and this team was able to pull it together. I'm being told right now we're gonna throw to May Valentine, who spoke with Scion earlier today. Please welcome NWA national champion, Scion. Scion, you must be really happy with your team's success this far. Happy is an understatement. Do you understand how well my team is currently doing? It's because of the knowledge that Austin Idol has given me to coach my team to, to success. Bully Ray, Angelina Love, Missa Kate, PJ Hawks, some of the best wrestlers 
professional wrestlers that the NWA has. We're not here just for points. We're here to win the entire thing. And under my guidance, through Austin Idol, we're going to do just that. Talking about your father, where is he? That's what everyone's been asking. Where is Austin Idol? Mm -hmm. He's on a very specific mission when it comes to this championship series. And quite frankly, it's none of your business. Well, thank you so much, Sion. Hey, what's the gig? Danny Deals, Daniel W. Deals, Triple D, the Deal Machine, whatever you want to say. Not at the Deals house, but hanging out with the lovely Bubblegum, holding the place for candy, came right off the bench. It's wonderful. NWA USA, the Deal Man Show. Huh? Look at that. Pretty sweet. That's a new color. I like the green. You like the green? I love the green. Everybody knows I hate this little punk, but I'll make a deal with anybody. Oh, Deals, my boy. Gimp needs a t-shirt. And so he's got a t-shirt. It's terrible, but it's almost gone. The orange shirt, it's one of you like it too, don't you? Ah, nice pink t-shirt. I like the pink it pops really on me what do you think i think it's lovely yes i do tyrus i'm smashing everything that's right old tyranius rex he's the new champion we got a shirt for him i have to keep reprinting this because i can't heed the stock everybody loves it this is the deal man's idea you love these colors too that's a great color scheme isn't it Ta -da! right uh, now who wouldn't want this you see this you see this you want this in real life you buy it on here and then you just imagine gray and white logo this is a wonderful t-shirt don't you think so tootsie pop all right oh, nationalizingalliance.com you hit the shop button and e não esquece para pegar todos os seus coisas hoje no shop nationalwrestlingalliance.com e só toca naquele link merchandise yes Please welcome NWA World Women Champion, Camille. Camille, I can't imagine you're happy with EC3's actions for Team Tyrus. Not happy, May, is just putting it lightly. See, EC3, <laughs> do you even know the rules of wrestling? You just, you get in there and you do whatever the hell that you want. You, you speak in these weird riddles and you try to make everyone think that you have some master plan, like you're smarter than everybody else. Do you even know what's going on? I, you have no idea what you're saying. You just have this weird fetish for Tom, my man, trying to get under his skin. And I'm sick and tired of it. And the fact that he's on Team Tyrus. Team Tyrus, is that how you're going to win? Is that how you think you're going to win? Cheating and doing whatever it takes? Well, guess what? I have full confidence in my team to win, to take it home and do it the right way. Well, thank you so much, Camille. Main event time here on NWA Power as we continue on with the Champion Series. Thrill Billy Silas representing Team Tyrus and Kratos representing Team Brickhouse. Another big man versus big man matchup here. Yeah, absolutely. I kind of like this. Same. Team Tyrus is up three to one against Brickhouse in the tournament. That's got to put extra pressure on Kratos, knowing that the team's behind. He's got to get a big win and a big victory, but he's got to go through the thrill belly. He's got to deliver for his team for sure. You can see thrill belly Silas Mason has the height advantage, but I believe Kratos has a weight advantage. And that toughness and the intensity, as we've seen Kratos every time he steps in the ring. Two big bulls locking horns, center of the ring, in the main event of NWA Power, and a shot there from Thrillbilly. Back in Kratos into the corner. Ooh, big chop. And we do have some breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. I've been told that there have been decisions made as far as the alternates go. Rolando was the first to be able to choose after winning that elimination four-way. He is going to team Tyrus. Jeremiah Plunkett is going to team Brickhouse. Sal the Pal. He's going to be moving on as well. As I'm trying to clear this up here, he's going to Team Great. Team Great for Sal the Pal. Oh. Anthony Andrews was forced to go to Team Gold. So the alternates have been chosen. Kratos is just lighting up the chest of Billy Cyrus. My goodness. Following through with a snap here and a stiff kick to the lower back of Billy. And you got to wonder if you're... you're Team Tyrus, if you are Tyrus and you're captain of this team, did you want Rolando as your alternate? He didn't have a choice in the matter, but either way it's happening. 
Quick pinfall there by Kratos. For me, I think I would always want Rolando on my team. Just just from what he's shown and proven, you know, since debuting here in the NWA. I'm a big fan of him, big fan of his work. Love how he doesn't back down from anyone, so I'm rooting for him all the way. Oh my gosh, the strength and power of Kratos. And just for clarification, Anthony Andrews is Team Gold, which is into the cover, kick out. Team Gold, which is run by Jordan Clearwater with Magic Jake as the captain's assistant. We'll be seeing action from that team in a few weeks from now. Koya must be going crazy right now, watching her man just getting ambushed at the hands of Kratos. Nice power slam, by the way. Woo! Nobody home on that one. Thrillbilly was able to avert disaster as he comes off the ropes. And... Kick out. Poyo sitting right in, directly in front of the commentary desk just turned and said she can't take it anymore. It, it's a really tough there position. She is, look. It's such a tough position for Poyo Del Mar. The love of her life gets a two count. Well, normally but... she's at ringside able to assist her man if he needs any help and she's, she feels so helpless right now like she can't do anything. And not only that, I mean, he's not on the, the team. So oh, now you're, you're conflicted I know, you're conflicted, here. absolutely. Well, she, they're not on the same team, but at the end of the day, that's still her man. Kratos is a member of Team Oh my gosh. Wow, and the power and the strength of Grill Billy Silas Mason. You don't see too many so people impressive. carrying Kratos across the ring like that. Shoulders down, kick out. Tries to send Kratos down with that shoulder tackle, but Kratos ain't going nowhere. He is standing tall. He's got that look in his eyes. Like he has had enough. Looks like he might be bleeding. Yeah, that might just be motivating Kratos at this point. He could taste that. Kratos tried to answer with a shoulder tackle of his own. And, oh, he's going to hit the hip toss. Beautiful hip toss from such a powerful competitor. Now Kratos slowing the momentum of the match, putting Thrill Billy up on that top turnbuckle, looking for a big uh -oh, maneuver what are we here. See here, Joe. Oh, let's go. Come on, Once go. again, Team Brickhouse is behind. Tyrus with three points, Brickhouse with one. Kratos needs to get a big win here. Shoulder from the top. Come on. Polish hammers in a row, leveling Kratos. And there you see again. Cleo, so concerned for her man. And there you see Camille also just cheering on Kratos, Kratos telling him to get Kratos to get up, get back into the fight. Ducks the clothesline. The boot comes up. Looking for a big, perhaps looking for a pile driver. Kratos! Oh, the backdrop. The clothesline levels throw belly. Back elbow now. And the most feared Kratos is on a roll. Did you hear that? And again, following it up with that clothesline, continuing the the Not onslaught. Done. Not done yet. He's going for a suplex. He only hits it. Not only that, launching thrill sure. belly, Silas Woo. Mason. You have to have an enormous uh -oh. amount of strength and power to do that. Kratos looking like he's not finished with him yet. Oh, oh, nobody oh. home. Crash and burn for Kratos. Oh, he goes. Oh. Real Billy using a lot of power, a lot of strength, popping those hips, gets the suplex. Go for that cover. Nope. Yeah. Billy, I think he realizes yeah. that just more, more needs to be done. He's going to win this match. Yeah, but you're not only winning the match for yourself, though. You're winning it for your team. The goal is to win the match for your team. And it, their little bit of leeway was given by Kevin Keene and their throat Billy was grabbing the beard. And there you see Tyrus looking on. Oh, a big win from the throat Billy, and he could get it after that huge oh. elbow drop. Hooks that outside leg. Shoulders are down. Kick out by Kratos. Oh, Everybody looks frustrated. It's like, what more can he do? Yeah, and Camille showing a lot of support hey, for Kratos. Let's go. 
And again, I mean, Poyo Del Mar, back, you can see her in the corner of your screen. I mean, absolutely beside her herself. Picked oh, was looking for the throw ride. Was looking for the throw ride. Kratos answers with a rising knee. Huge Lariat. Falls to make the cover. Tyrus doesn't seem too concerned. Oh, he's got a spin oh, on the bottom on the bottom oh, row. Breaks that count. What more can we see out of these two men, Joe? What more can they do to one another to win this match? I feel like they've exhausted everything. Well, at this point, we are getting into the deep water, and keep in mind, this round of the Champion Series, we've got a television time limit of just 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. So they've got to keep working, and they've got to work fast. Yep. Clock is, clock is ticking. Uh, Real Billy able to counter. Silas Mason, which adds five yeah. points to Team Tyrus for a total of eight points. Team Brickhouse is at one point. A huge lead for Team Tyrus here on the Champion Series. We're going to see you this Saturday for more Champion Series matches.